everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today we'll be discussing lee su yun's build and strategy but before that if you wanted updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so for a lot of reasons there are a lot of names similar to her so but anyway this is they call her actually lsy um this is her younger version and we're actually waiting for her awakened version but again let's talk to her let's talk about her first so lee suyun is actually in um actively in her pvp because she's part of the ups but she is actually very good now that i realize that i've been playing her she's actually a counter guys fenrir division same as uh, uh, hilde um her deployment cost is rather costly at four without um any discounts so she's a striker ground type and ground attack unit okay but again um right now she's three then once you play her as a leader she's two if she's not in the in the ups actually if you apply her as a leader at three she's going to be uh, she's still going to be good so hear me out guys because i've been using her and right now i'm a believer because again she can hold her own okay so let's take a look at her stats so for her stats she has a couple of strengths um number one is going to be her hp which is going to be high um at fifty-seven thousand five sixty-two. Her attack is also uh, is, is actually above average at four uh, four three o three, and then the last stat that is above average is actually evasion, which is at eight hundred thirty seven, and she is actually fantastic. Um, she's more of a tank, I feel, um, but with the striker, you know, with the striker, um classification she deals a lot of damage as well okay her weakness is defense is below average i would not suggest um i would not suggest increasing her defense leave it be her her defense is at 483 um two stats are low which is crit and hit so both uh hit is going to be at 376 while crit at 306 okay so again, which stat are you going to, you know, going to be able to modify or increase? So let's take a look first at her skills. So basic attack, uh, valid hits is two. Swings her great sword, inflicting AOE damage. So levels two to five, it's a total of twenty percent uh, basic attack damage plus. Next is her passive skill, which is my old fearless days. She was fearless back then, permanently increased attack and damage resistance by 15% when HP drops of 50% or below. Okay, play on her HP, guys. Levels 2 to 4 is an additional um, 20%. And level five pass uh, at level 5, passive effect is activated at 60%. So the higher, the higher you take her HP, the earlier it would trigger, okay? So lower HP in, uh, or lower HP instead and grants immunity to hit stun from ultimate or lower skills. Okay, uh, what I mean is um, it triggers earlier because it's it's at 60. Once you increase it, uh, you, you increase her HP. She still has a lot left uh, even if she's at 60%. That is what I meant. Okay, so special skill is skill learned from the master these this is actually one of the you know the the best skills that she has valid hits is three moves forward levitating enemies with aoe damage so she basically kicks them up and the, take note guys this is three so she can do this to three front row units and this is actually good this makes her makes her survivable more um and makes enemy stagger more okay decreases damage taken by 25 percent during the skills effect okay so again uh decreased damage damage resistance in her passive um levels two three and four damage plus 25 percent 
and cooldown is a minus four seconds for level five which brings her cooldown to 17 seconds only okay this skill of hers is actually this is what i value more because this staggers you and buys you sorry this staggers your enemies and buys you time this is also what makes her tanky as well aside from damage resistance and damage reduction so ultimate skill is fatal blow um cooldown is 55 seconds valid hits is four okay makes the best of her great sword inflicting aoe damage in proportion to her attack decreases damage taken by 35 percent during the skills effect okay so level two three four it's a damage of plus 25 level five casts a barrier equal to 20 percent of max hp again another reason for you to increase her hp for 15 seconds after the skill hits for her ultimate okay so i have been using my lee suyun or lsy in pvp so again she's very good um right now if even if you have her at three i actually sometimes use her at three she's actually still good so again i equipped her with all hp so gear sets options are either all hp or half hp half attack so those are my recommendations but i'm going with with all hp set this actually bumps her hp nearly seven 70,000 already. I still need to do a little more, you know, tweaking here and there. I can actually bump her up to 70,000 for her HP. As for her gear stats, um, evasion would be good to put. Um, also, you need to increase her hit and you need to increase her attack. So those are the three that you can choose from, from her stats. So hit, attack, and evasion. So let's check out her gear so mostly evasion that is why i also have a high evasion for her so i have to change this one her defense probably change it to hp so that she goes over 70 but i think this one you have hp here so i need to just to have a plus on that and the last one is actually crit i need to change that as well you need to give her hit so that she hits more okay so even with this kit i haven't or these gears i haven't really you know um, modified her kit but again she's terrific right now I'm, I'm saying right now because again the situation favors her but if she's not in the ups she is still going to be good okay let's go on to her deployment strategy okay so my comparison to lsy let's call her that i don't want to slip up again um is going to be esther rosa um mainly because of her toughness of her survivability and she's a striker plus she is also a mix of ju shi uh in terms of um in terms of um staggering her opponents and lifting up in the air so again she is a lot of uh, you know she's a lot of uh combinations and that works to her advantage that is why probably if i can say this justifies her for cost so again her skill as you see there let's use her skill first so it staggers brings them up to the air let's actually do a another let's reset her let's do a summon ground unit then let's do ai off so that you can see um you can see actually um, how she's going to do her skill. So as you can see here, let's try to use her skills again. See, she actually even hits air units. So again, very, very useful special skill. Um, hits air units. And let's take a look at her ultimate, guys. Her ultimate is actually for me kind of decent the, the the one thing I, I i like about her ultimate is the four hits so again a lot of aoe damage again as you see there um, special hits actually even air units so again she is actually good i don't know i i actually just realized this 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 week uh, since i started using her but again 
Her kit is good. If she was only, you know, down to three, she could have been a good mainstay right now for PvP. But I hope they tinker, tinker a bit on her kit because, again, if you compare apples to apples um, uh, with who? Um, with, let's say, with Jushion. Most of them actually are at three. Or, or you, you, you compare her with Nana, Nanahara Chifuyu. She's also a three. And she has a wonderful kit. So why can't be her? So more or less, again, even at four, I still, she's worth it. Just put her as a leader. If there's no ups anymore, then I think she, you can still use her. So last look at her ultimate. Let's try that again. Let's see her ultimate. this if even if you pull this off once this is already good so i'd rather have her special skill you know be pulled off more frequently because again they stagger your opponents and they lift and she lifts them up to the air so others could could also attack them so guys my final thoughts again um she her toughness can be can be compared to Liu Mi, actually. So, but Liu Mi is three cost. But again, you won't be disappointed when you have her. Um, now at two, uh, lowest is going to be two deployment. If uh, in the future lowest you could have her at um, at three. So again, very. She is a very good tank that can buy you time. If you're saving up for mana, I'm oh, sorry, not mana. This is a different game. If you're saving up for deployment, you know, your, your deployment meter, she is the one that you put in the front line, especially early game. Because she will really save you a lot of uh, deployment cost that you can charge your meter and deploy higher deployable units. And again, she will really buy you time. Okay, So for PvP, she is going to be an 8 out of 10 she's fantastic um the one that only makes her a eight is actually her deployment cost and for pve she's a seven out of ten um she's a very selfish unit she doesn't have any buffs to anybody but again she's worth it because of her tankiness the damage and the staggering of the enemies on the other side of the screen Okay, so again, um, those are my final thoughts, guys. Um, thank you for staying this far in this video. Also, please click the bell icon and also put a like to this video. Guys, thank you. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.